Here's someone named Shannon complaining to Wendy's about having the worst experience ever and being threatened by an employee. And she's still... Hello? Oh, hello, Shannon? Yes. Hey, this is uh, Gary from the Wendy's corporate office. Uh Uh-huh. I I understand you were having some sort of a problem with one of our locations. Yeah, but this was back at the beginning of December. Yeah, we're just now getting to it. Sorry about that. That sounds real nice when I was threatened and swore at and everything else. Okay, well, yeah, I'm calling you now, though. I mean, at least we called you eventually, right? Okay. And I'm sure nothing's been done about it. Well, we just, we don't know what, what the deal is exactly. Um, what, what happened? Um, well, I had stopped there, and not only was the line all the way for the drive through almost wrapped around the building, there was a line of about 10 people. No, it was your staff. Oh. You have Mexicans making sandwiches that don't understand English. You have people working the counter that are very rude. And then the one guy that threatened me said he was trying to help get people through the line faster. But what he was doing was bagging one order and then standing there and looking around like he had no clue he was even awake. Hmm. And then he would help again. And then the same thing happened again. He was probably just high. That that sounds like Chad. I don't even remember what his name was. I'd have to go back and, and see... Was he a Mexican? What I told the people when I first called. Was he a Mexican? No. He was a tall black man. Okay. Yeah, it sounds like Chad. No, I don't think that was his name. Well, you said you don't remember his name. Okay, well, isn't it in the initial report that I made? Uh, You know, I didn't feel like reading it because it was so long. Like, you're just like a really long-winded writer, I guess. Like, you just talk a lot. I just, man, I, I just couldn't read it all to be honest. No, I gave the report to the girl and she typed it up. Oh, okay. So she just made up all this extra stuff to make you seem long-winded? Um, no. Okay, well, I'm, I'm sorry. No, I didn't read it all. Uh, it just, it, to me, it sounded like Chad. I know we've had some problems with Chad there at that location. So were you just wanting, okay. like, were you just wanting like a free coupon or something? You know, like a tw- no. 20% off? No. Oh, what, what is it that you're looking for? Like you want to? I don't s- think that guy should be working there. When he was threatening my life, and you don't sound very concerned about it either. No, no, I'm concerned about it. I'm trying to help you out with this. No, you're not. You just called me long-winded and and too breathy and told too long of a story. I'm sorry, but when I was standing in that restaurant, he threatened my life. Well, are you sure you weren't being and a motherfucker you don't seem first? To give a shit. Were you perhaps being a motherfucker toward him? Are you seriously talking to me like this? No, no, I'm not. I'm, I'm just, that, that's the best way I can think to put it. Like, maybe you were being a motherfucker and he was just throw, and what throwing... what is your name? Maybe he was just throwing it back at you. And what is your name? Uh, my name is Gary from the cor- corporate office. Gary I'm, what? No, who? I'm a who. I'm a person. What is your last name? Gary who? No, who? who is my last name. It wouldn't be a what. Okay, what is your last name, Gary? Who? Who is my last name? Okay, I've asked you four different times. Yeah, but you're saying it wrong. What and who? No, no, you only said what is your last name. But my it would be a who. I don't believe you're even from Wendy's. Well, I don't believe that you're not, not a motherfucker. How do you like who that? Who are you, and it, why are you calling me? And there you go. Me like this? You got it right that time. Who are you? Not what are you? No, I think you're just trying to get something. You're just trying to trying to scam us out of money or something. Is that is that what this is really all about? Are you seriously asking me that question when my life was threatened in that in that Wendy? Well, it seems like you probably um, you you manufactured the whole thing to make your life get threatened, just so you could get like oh yes, free, I'm sure I manufactured the whole thing. Free frosties or whatever. You're probably in cahoots with Chad because this is exactly... I have no idea who Chad is, and I could care less to get anything free from that company. I think he should have been fired. Well, then then what are you complaining for? Why don't you just stop going there? Why are you calling me and talking to me like this? Well, you started it. Can you tell that kid in the background to shut the fuck up, please? You need to tell me what your name is. I already told you. It's Gary. 
And you would not be talking to me like this if you actually represented Wendy's Corporation. Well, no, no, I was trying to to work it out with you, and you just started being a motherfucker, so I couldn't help it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, okay? Uh, Let's just, we got off on the wrong foot. Let's start over. No, if somebody called me from Wendy's Corporation, they would tell me exactly what their name was. I and they they would have better told representation. You, I of told that you what my name is several times. It's Gary. You didn't tell me your full name. It's Gary who? That's not true. It is too. I'm Asian. It's H U Gary H U. That's what I was trying to tell you earlier. No, no, you're not. What do you mean I'm not Asian? I know what nationality I am. Can you tell that kid to shut the fuck up, though, for real? First of all, it's not a kid, and no, you're not going to speak to me like that. Is it a dog? It's none of your business. Okay, well, just tell tell whatever it is to shut the fuck up. And, like, in the future, when you come to our restaurants, could you please not be such a motherfucker? That's all we ask. No, ma'am, I'm just kidding. I, I just saw your phone number on Twitter. I thought I'd call you and pretend I'm Wendy's. That's all. So really, you think you're a good person for doing that? Well, no, I never said I was a good person. I'm, I'm just saying. And for cussing at me and telling me to talk to my family like that? Well, you you were kind of you kind of had an attitude, so you're basically cussing at me with your attitude. Well, because I didn't know exactly who you were. You're a fucking piece of shit. N- no, no, no. I'm actually a really nice person for real. No, you're not. No, no, I am for real. I and am. You need Go get fucked by your piece of shit boyfriend. Goodbye. What do you have a problem with my boyfriend? <laughs>